unplanned trip to visit my mom for a month and a half. Um, and by unplanned, I mean I left a day after I found out I was going to be leaving. So I didn't get to pre-film any videos, but I apologize. I am back now. I have like about packages up to here of books that I ordered that came in like October, but I'm only now getting around to like opening them. I'm very excited because like I feel like it's like a little mini Christmas every time I have like packages. Today I'm going to be doing a book outlet haul for November. Um, this is my book outlet haul for November. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say this is my, my November book haul, but this is pretty much just book outlet stuff. I haven't gotten anything else yet. I just wanna say thank you so much to book outlet. I say this in every video, but I am a vlogger friend, so there'll be a link down below if you wanna check out my vlogger page with all of these books on it. Um, and this video is sponsored by book outlet, so thank you so much to book outlet. Last announcement, Black Friday is coming. Last year I made a video and um, you guys really loved it and I'm gonna share this again with you guys because it's awesome for anyone who's on a budget that wants to get books and wants to get books like for other people maybe during Christmas or wants to like kind of participate in a Black Friday thing. Book Outlet is having another Black Friday sale from November 24th to the 29th. Everything on their website will be 30% off and mind you most of these books like you can find a hardcover for probably less than five dollars on their website so 30% off of that is like it's ridiculous. I don't think I've come across any other website, any other book website that you can find books this cheap on Black Friday. So that is what I want to share with you guys. It's not like a catch. There's no catch to any of this, but you have to do this now. Okay. Okay. So it's already the 19th, but starting from the 17th all the way until the 22nd, there'll be a link down below. If you share about their Black Friday and sign up, you'll get a $5 off $20 coupon. You can only use on Black Friday where everything is already going to be 30% off. So, you know, you you, you gotta check that out. Anyways, let us get into this haul. I have some awesome stuff here. I like kind of like cried a little. You know like when you happy cry when you get a book? I cried a little when I opened this box because like oh, the memories started to come back. There's two books here that were at the top of the box, which I'll talk about first, that I already read, but I did not own a physical copy of. The first book here is on my top 10 favorite contemporary list book, but I got an e-arc of it when it first came out, and I remember just reading it on my phone and thinking, okay, I may not like this book, I'm not huge on contemporary. I read the book in two days. Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. Oh my god. Okay, there's a movie coming out and Nick Robinson is gonna be playing the guy in this book and um, what's her name from The Hunger Games is gonna be playing the girl in this book and it's gonna be so perfect. Like literally, like Nick Robinson, if you guys don't know who he is, like Google him. He's like, oh my god, dream, dream guy. He was in the fifth wave adaptation. Now he's gonna be in this adaptation and I'm gonna die because I just, I can't, okay? Okay, pretty much the sum of this book, a girl, she's allergic to the world and so she's lived her entire life inside her house and she only ever talks to her mother, her school tutors, and then her nurse and that's it. A boy moves in next door and I'll let you kind of imagine where it goes from there. But let me tell you this, like, it is, it's lived beyond the hype. I'm not a huge contemporary person. I mean, I am, but I'm more of like a sci-fi fantasy girl, you know what I mean? Um, so when it comes to contemporary books, if I love it, it's like, it's good, it's good, good. So, like seriously, amazing. I have the ebook of this, but I don't, but but now I own the hardback of it, and I'm like, Ugh! I wanna reread it. Like, just, it just, just touching it makes me wanna reread it. Okay, now on to the next book I purchased, which is the reason why I actually put in this entire order, is because if you can see way up there, right there, there's a little red book. That little red book destroyed me. That book right there caused me to not study for two tests in which I really should have studied for, but I couldn't because I was reading that little red book. That little red book is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Okay, I read that book and it immediately went to my top, top favorite books of all time, okay? And I thought to myself, you know what? It can't get any better than this. And then I downloaded the ebook of the second book and it got better. Court of Mist and Fury. Court of Mist and Fury. I have a whole talk about this video. I'll link it down below. But if you want to read something that will physically and emotionally destroy you, this is the book, okay? This is the second book in Sarah J. Maas's A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I'm not going to talk about it because I'm sure it's been talked about so much you already know what it's about, but let me tell you this, okay? 
it's amazing and holding the physical copy I read this on my phone by the way so I read it in three days on my phone I had no idea how big it was in like a physical copy but I own it now and I want to reread it and oh my god just like I'm just thinking of certain chapters already in this book okay we need we need to move on okay the next book I got I got a lot of books that were really popular but they're kind of older they came out a little while ago the next book I got is Mila 2.0 by Deborah Drizza and this is a book I remember I used to go on the epic reads website all the time I remember when this first came out like back in 2013 I think but this book is about a girl who finds out that she's actually not a girl and that she was made in the lab and that she's kind of like this robot cyborg thing I'm not 100% sure on the details but she has to go on the run now there's people after her and it's just it's one of those action sci-fi books and I love action sci-fi books I'm a sucker for like action sci-fi I also picked up another book which like I feel like the title kind of like makes it look like some sort of like weird like contemporary book but it actually is kind of like a murder mystery kidnap thing um, and it is Bone Gap by Laura Ruby now I heard so many good things about this book also the cover is like fantastic so you know that adds like 10 points really small town called Bone Gap in which there's a group of three friends I believe and um, a girl goes missing which um, the whole town is kind of known for people like constantly leaving and you know like weird stuff happening and stuff so people think that she just left like she ran away but the one but the but one of the closest friends to her know that that's not the case that this that she was kidnapped and there's kind of like a backstory to every one of the characters and like it kind of mixes in with it and there's like I think it's some sort of serial kidnapper or something like that awesome mystery suspense book and I feel like you know mystery suspense is perfect for the winter time which it is winter time now oh my god the next book I'm not gonna lie I bought completely because of the hype okay like I'm the kind of person I will resist the hype for a little bit until it's just the point where I'm just like okay I need to read this book and find out if it's really as good as everyone's saying it is Jacobi by William Ritter um, a lot of my favorite booktubers and book reviewers they really like this book um, a lot of people who I really trust their opinions to and I feel like we kind of have like a similar you know everyone has like that one book reviewer that they just have like like all the same books um hopefully I could be one of those book reviewers that you guys can relate to okay moving on Jacobi by William Ritter okay this book is about a detective oh yeah it takes place in 18 it takes place in 1892 New England it is about this detective named Jacobi who he can see like supernatural creatures and things like that and it's about a girl who becomes his apprentice now she cannot see supernatural creatures but she's really good at picking out details um, and just seeing like the normal I guess you could say so they make a perfect pair both of them are on this new case in which they think the killer is human but Jacobi disagrees and says you know what this looks like a supernatural um, sort of event that happened and so now they're kind of investigating that and it sounds so good anything with supernatural in it is like bay bay the next book I got is very very much a contemporary book and I actually own another book by this author which I have not read I'm so sorry I, I'm so sorry when we collide by Emery Lord now I have the start of me and you by Emily Lord I think Emery Lord is that the same author I don't know okay I could be wrong apologies if I'm wrong this book is pretty much your kind of you know contemporary book it's one of those books where a guy and a girl meet over the summer and they just change each other's lives and it's one of those books you read when you just want something really romancy and cute um so and the cover is so awesome I just want to like recreate this but even with my limited artistic abilities I think this is like too much for me but I'm so to read this one again I kind of bought this one because of the hype around it but we'll see you know what I'm just like well we'll try it we'll try it Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins Hawkins now this book is about a girl she's kind of your typical Southern Belle girl really sweet then gets some sort of ability or power um, and is now a guardian or protector and has to protect this boy in her school um, but I read the synopsis a little while ago and it sounded like awesome and then also again some of my favorite book reviewers reviewed it and they're just like Naya this book is awesome it's right up your alley also the cover just looks like something you would wear on a t-shirt next I 
got a book that seemed really awesome because it's kind of like one of those like road trip adventure books and it is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. So it's about a girl who ends up moving to live with her dad but then shortly after moving with her dad she finds out that her mom has cancer and gets sick so she runs away and catches the bus to go all the way back to where her mom is and along the way she meets some unique and cool people and just experiences things and it's just like, it's, it's again one of those like road trip books so I'm really excited to read this one. Again, I feel, I, this, I feel like this book was really popular at some point, but again, I tend to buy books a little while after they, the popularity has died down. Last but not least, I got Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. Carrie Ryan wrote my favorite zombie series of all times. I talk about it in like every single video. The Forest of Hands and Teeth, okay, it's like bae. So I know she is good at writing anything with suspense and mystery and heartbreak and an emotional turmoil. Um, but this book is about a girl. She's one of three survivors of um, a yacht and or cruise ship accident. I think it was a yacht accident. But she ends up being adrift in the ocean with her friend for a while before getting rescued and she's the only person who knows what actually happened. They believe that the boat sank and crashed because of an accident when really she knows it was not an accident. And then there's this whole story and crime that's involved and it just, it's, it's, it's awesome. It sounds awesome. All the books I got from Book Outlets, thank you so much again to Book Outlets. Let me know if you've read any of these books. Let me know your opinions of them. You know, I, I'm always, I love to hear what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!